Hi there again. Um, I'm following up from an event I organized yesterday on data-driven product development. And uh, they, this event was very interesting and it made me realize once again that data science is not just for data scientists. So in this event, Noam, who is an expert product manager, showed to us how you can use data analytics in order to inform product design and product management. And what this very clearly demonstrates is that someone who has domain knowledge of in a certain area, whether it's product management or finance or some other area, and a good understanding of some basic data science techniques, this person can be very, very powerful. This person can do amazing things. And this is something which data scientists unfortunately often miss, domain knowledge, a proper understanding of a domain. This is why the programs that I'm running, the programs that I'm teaching, I'm really focused on the mentoring aspect and domain knowledge. Because I think that in order for someone to be a 360 degrees data scientist, they also need to understand the, the, the business or they need to understand the problem from many different perspectives. So, for example, going back to product management, you need to understand what are the KPIs, what are you optimizing. If you're talking about some other field like finance, maybe you need to optimize something like the SHARP ratio or profits, etc. If you're talking about medicine, then you need to know more about precision and recall and what are the different uh, rates of infection of the disease, etc. I mean, it's different in any case, but in, in, in any sense, what I, what I want to stress out is that in order for someone to be a complete data scientist, you need to combine not only technical excellence, but also very good knowledge of the domain, which you obviously acquire through experience by talking to other experts, etc., etc. This is why mentoring is such an important part of everything I'm doing.